Good, very early morning. Colin here with Tech Out, and it is about 3 in the morning here. Um, and I just installed Android 13 Developer Beta 1 on my Pixel 6 Pro here. And I just want to go over some of the things um, so far in Developer Beta 1 that I've seen. Um, now, Developer Beta 1, there is not a whole lot of changes, and that's expected. Um, we probably won't see anything UI wise until we get to the actual betas. Um, this is this the, the, the developer preview right now. Um, but as you can see here, the code name for Android 13 is Tiramisu. Um, we don't have any um, little Easter eggs in here yet. It's just the Android 12. Um, you know, spin it all the way around to 12 o'clock. And it actually still even says Android 12, even though we are on 13. Um, but that is, you know, something they usually don't change until right before release. Um, so everything on the home screen is still the same. Uh, all that there's really nothing too much change other than a couple of things. Um, one thing is the wallpaper and style. The dark theme, um, or sorry, the icon theming is not here for some reason. Um, I know on somebody else that had it on their Pixel 6, it does show up. Um, one of the new things in Android 13 is it's going to theme all your icons, not just your system icons. It will work with third-party app icons as well. Um, that's not something that is in Developer Preview 1, but it is something that is coming down the road. Another thing is if we go to um, the sound right here and we mute the device um, and then we go into your sound settings, um, you do not get the haptic options when you are in um, the settings here. It just says vibration and haptics are unavailable because phone is set to silent. Um, so you cannot go to this menu um, when that is the case. Um, so we put it back on vibrate here and then we change it. Um, you can see we do lose that menu um, and you do not get haptics when your phone is on silent. No, no system haptics, no vibration, no nothing. Um, some people like that, some people dislike it because some people still prefer the system haptics even when their phone was on or is on silent. Um, to me it doesn't really matter because the haptics don't matter too much to me, um, but I can see it being an annoyance to some people because it's not something that you can change, it's just the way it is in uh, Android 13 right now. But that's pretty much it. Um, I haven't had too much time to play with it. Like I said, it is three in the morning and I just got this installed. Um, I didn't have any issues installing it or restoring for my backup. Um, I haven't had any like software issues or anything like that. I do notice third party apps right now are kind of stuttery. Um, so I don't know if they're having issues adapting to 120 Hertz, um, which is what happened when um, the Pixel first came out. Um, it seems like that might be the case again, so the apps probably just need to be updated for Android 13, which of course we're not going to see in the beta process. Um, so that's one of the reasons you don't want to install this on a main device, is because you're going to have random issues like that. You're going to have random app uh, incompatibility issues and crashes um, and all that kind of stuff. But that's what is uh, not really new, but that's what Android 13 Developer Preview 1 is like right now on the Google Pixel 6 Pro. I know it's available for some other devices. I think I've some, seen some people running it on the OnePlus devices as well. Um, but there it is on the Pixel 6 Pro. I'm Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos when they do release new versions. I will be doing some more videos on those. And as always, have a great day.